Hey guys, I've got a Ryobi P731 inflator. It's a dual inflator um, for high volume and low volume. And you need to do 10 minutes on and 10 minutes off of after continuous use because it uh, gets hot. So I like this little guy and I was thinking about making a, a, a cooling system for it during the 10 minutes off by just adding some fans inside and so on. So I'll show you what I'm up to. So the compressor itself is pretty small compared to anything professional. So it's just basically this little piston that's geared. And you can add additional grease to that or whatever it looks like right in here. And then uh, I was thinking these vents, this fan here pushes air out the back here. And so this is the intake, and I was thinking that would be a nice, the intake would be a nice place to add a couple of case fans to pull air in. So they're in that 10 minutes down, it's really cooling down. Or maybe turn that into 5 minutes if it's well, well ventilated. Uh, maybe I'll add more heat sink and stuff in there too. So anyway, um, just started to set this up for, for fans. I have zip tied into place a couple 12 volt fans that are back to back, wear them in series so that that makes them a 24 volt need. This is 18, so that actually powers them nicely. And I spaced them with uh, little uh, rubber washers and stuff, so that that's something that you could certainly do or get a 24 volt or something, some sort of fan that would work in that space. Uh, fits pretty nicely. Okay, I've installed a little power switch for the fan. The center terminal on this switch is where I'm taking off the positive power, running it to my switch, which runs it over to the fan. And then the ground, or negative, from the fan goes down here and connects up with the board where ground is coming in, basically from this wire here, back side of the board. So there's uh, just stealing 18 volt power for couple little fans. The sticker side blows in so it's going to pull in air to cool down the motor sitting, or the compressor sitting right in front of it without the compressor running otherwise the compressor relies on this fan. Okay there wasn't enough room for two motors so I put in one here and then moved the other one over here. Um, both are pushing air toward the compressor. So in here, then to the left, there are vents next to the inflator, so that should help it cool down. There just wasn't enough clearance. If you get one 18 volt, 24 volt uh, fan, it should clear, but I had 212, so put those in series, and that's what I've got. Okay, here's my Ryobi dual inflator with the switch. Um, 18 volt battery powers a couple 12 volt fans in series. So right inside there's a fan pulling air in. You can see that could be mounted with screws and set it, but the zip ties work pretty well. Air is coming out here just a little bit. And then it's also pulling in pulling in this direction. So these vents here and there are pulling air across it. So super crazy low amp um, cooling for the little compressor that can be turned off either by switch or pulling the battery.